Welcome back ladies and gents. In this clip we're going to be looking at how to share resources. Imagine students have to revise for an exam. Um, so, and you've, you know, you've got tons of um, resources, PowerPoints, worksheets, uh, websites that you want to share. And so it's not an assignment, it's not a question, it's just you sending materials that they can actually have access to and work from, from home. So it's dead easy. You go to classwork and you choose, I'm going to put this down so it doesn't confuse you, click on create and you're going to choose material. Now, as the name implies, you put a name, it is just you sending and sharing materials that you think they'd want to use. So I actually have a couple of things already. So I've got like an exam brief PowerPoint here that I would typically use in a lesson or the, you know, just before an exam. So they've got the top uh, tips from there. I've also got a revision guide that you may actually have as well. And uh, this is a Word document that I converted. So if you want to know how to convert a Word document into a Google Doc file, please see the previous video. And as you can see, this is just a bunch of information for them to make reference to uh, and have access to. Now, this one doesn't have to be something that they write into. So I'm just going to share it with them with the with no intention for them to make any changes to it. So because it's not actual work, it's a revision uh, exercise. It's material that they make reference to. So. Go back to the classroom i'm going to go to add and they are both google drive documents and as a result it should remember the last things i worked on let's have a look if we can find it and knowing the names make a difference so you can see i've got the june 2017 exam example there which is there at the top and also the revision guide which should be hopefully um it's not there for some reason i'll have to find it so that's fine i'm going to click add for this one first there we go. And then I'm going to add the next one. And this is why the search bar is so useful. So I'm going to put revision. There it is, side of 10, year 11. And then it goes in there. So I can just simply put re revision material. In fact, let's make it exam revision material. And then you put some instructions. Um, very important please open and read through the top tips um, identified in the attached files and you'll see it doesn't say um, make a copy it is just them to look at um, and that's basically it. And you can just click post and it's done. Dead easy.